possible? What a man, Anthony. He's making newspaper history. If the circulation department don't erect him a statue, I'll dip myself in bronze. Krusty. Don't worry. Every time I see he's coming to, I'll pop him again. Argumentative. The answer is no. He won't back any increase in pensions. He won't even talk about it. However you describe his characters, William Demarest excelled at playing the cantankerous old salt with a heart of gold during a career that lasted over 40 years. Born in St. Paul, Minnesota on February 27, 1892, he began his career in carnivals and vaudeville at the age of nine, before eventually appearing on Broadway. With his tough looks and animated expression of frustration, it wasn't long before Demarest snagged a contract with Warner Brothers. By 1927, Demarest had already appeared in 12 films for Warner Brothers, even working with Al Jolson in the first talkie, the jazz singer. Just as the movies were changing and developing new tricks, so was Demarest. I know. You've got a new song. I'll say we have. He became adept at physical comedy. Don't worry about me being careful in this joint. Perfecting an earth-shattering practice. A feat he was able to perform well into his 60s and stretched his dramatic legs in various roles as well. Everyday Joes, wise-cracking sidekicks. Yeah, I've seen that gal flow. Pretty? Well, yes and no. Shut your eyes and listen. Yes. Open them and look. No. Tough cops on the beat. Now you've done it. Come along with me. He was perfectly suited for them all. In the 1940s, Demarest became a contract player for Preston Sturgis. With his sharp wit and natural sense of timing, Demarest was perfect for Sturgis's satirically biting films. Dogs will be dogs. Demarest's talent and many years of hard work culminated in 1946 with the role of a lifetime. His Oscar-nominated performance as Al Jolson's fictional mentor in The Jolson Story. Just as he had made a successful leap from stage to screen, and then from silent films to talkies, Demarest made another transition in 1957 to television. But he had not given up films completely. Demarest continued to entertain audiences in movies like It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Things start happening now. And Viva Las Vegas. You know, Mr. Tree, we may have a big celebration come Christmas. You and I can both get lit up. Demarest then settled into his most famous role, Uncle Charlie on My Three Sons, replacing William Frawley who left the show due to health problems, Demarest remained a member of the Douglas family until 1972, when My Three Sons came to an end. But he continued working up to his death in 1983, at the age of 91. I give up. A lot of unwholesome racketeers have crept into this business. It's no place for an honest man. From vaudeville to Broadway, from movies to television, William Demarest was more than just a crotchety old coot. With his colorful lifetime of experience serving as his bag of tricks, he evolved into a subtly layered actor. William Demarest. What a character.